everybody, Aaron Snyder here with Outdoor Life's Live Hunt. Uh, I'm here in the Colorado Rockies. The uh, temperature's dropped in the last hour or so by about 8 degrees. So uh, I figured it was a good time to go over potential possible fire starters, emergency fire starters while you're in the backcountry. Uh, one of the uh, cool things about the off season like this, it's the best time to try. You don't want to ever head into the backcountry without whether it's fire starters or anything else, you don't want to head out in the backcountry without testing out your gear uh, ahead of time. It's can, it can be, you can get in deep trouble pretty quick. So as far as fire starters, I just brought a few of, uh, uh, of ones I knew that would work and then one I've never used before. So this is um, cotton balls with Vaseline. It's actually not cotton balls, it's flat cotton swab thingy dingy. So uh, my wife doesn't use cotton balls for some reason so that pretty much makes me use what she has uh, so it's basically these little flat cotton pads and I've actually gotten used to using these quite a bit more than than cotton balls they work quite a bit better so there's that with cotton you just basically wipe it around in Vaseline and you're uh, pretty much good to go these are uh, the ones I've never used before they're kind of a Looks like particle sawdust type thing all stuck together. Not really sure if these are going to work or not. I've never never used them before. I figured I'd give them a try. They were beside the um, the fire paste when I was buying that. This is fire paste. Uh, I've used it before screwing around, never taking it into the back country. I know it does work. You probably wouldn't want to bring a tube this size. You could start a small city on fire with this. So uh, anyway, you can take a smaller container, squish it in a smaller container, and uh, cut your weight down a little bit, but fire paste. Uh, and then these are fire sticks, basically. It's strike of fires looks like what it's actually called. Uh, this is what my buddy Jay uses. Uh, they're just sticks with a little match type thing on the end you can actually break them in half uh, what he does are in quarters so I'll break this one a little bit and so we've got cotton the little particle ball dust thingy thing and uh, fire paste all right so fire paste a little dirt mixed in so, first off, cotton. Whoop, that lit right up. Fire paste. You can see why cotton and Vaseline are. Uh, tried and true and what pretty much everyone uses doesn't cost very much money is usually at your house now for the little ball thing well uh, okay well lesson learned here uh, Sure, I can put a lot more effort into starting it, but considering you saw how the other one started, I uh, won't be using this. Good thing I tried it out ahead of time. I'll stick it in there with the cotton. But as you can see, those three all lit up with relative ease. Uh, if I wouldn't have tried that and I took that into the wilderness, uh, the little ball obviously would have been pretty problematic. Could have been a, a big issue, uh, especially when it's snowing like it is now. 